So I'm going to show you how to take your center console apart on your S3. A3 I think is going to be the same just as well as the RS3. I already got it all taken apart so I'm not going to show you step by step. But it's all off the car already so it might be pretty easy to show you. Um, you're going to have to take your shift knob off which I have a video on my channel if you want to take a look at that. Um, once you have your shift knob off you're going to have to pull your whole center console MMI control out. Um, the way you do that is you got to get a good grip on it with both hands here and here and you pull up as hard as you can and then it'll pop and lift and you got to get it out. There's going to be a lot of wires connected underneath here so you're going to have to unclip them all. Um, if you see all those silver tabs, that's what uh, that's what holds it down. You're going to have to pull really hard, but it does come off. It's going to feel like you're going to be breaking it, but it just unclips. Um, once you do that, you're going to have to pull this back part apart by, you're going to have to get a little bit, a little bit, you're gonna get a, you're gonna have to get a plastic pry tool and get under here and pop this out just this piece here and then once you have that out once you have that out you're gonna have to pull this piece off same thing silver clips hold it on and then under here you're gonna have Eight, eight millimeter bolts. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. So you're going to take those off. And then there will be eight millimeter bolts here and here. And then two more. One right there and one right there. Oops. And then you're going to have to take the cover off of here. And there's going to be a T20, a Torx 20 under here, star bit. Same thing on the other side, underneath the cover. And then once you have that out, you're gonna have to take the armrest out. It's held down by 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four. This thing has to come out of the way in order to lift this whole piece out. No way to do it without getting it out of there. And then once all that's out, you're going to have to put your shifter in drive. You know, you want it all the way back so it's not in the way. You're probably going to have to connect your MMI start button back to the car to do that. Hit the brake and then pull it back. You're going to have to pull this up, just so you know, in order to do that. And then, that's it pretty easy actually and then once this is what it looks like when everything is out you're gonna have this guy here this is what sends air to the back just slides back in here then you you got one of these plastic things that holds everything together that sits here Four bolts hold your shifter assembly in place. And then you got your wires clipped onto it. Same thing with this side. You'll see, once you get it all apart, and this guy sits in here. Basically take that off. Um, unfortunately, I spilled some coffee in there today, so I really wanted to clean it up. So I took my took took everything apart. 
thought I'd show you guys how it all comes apart. Alright, good luck.